Hey guys, I just realized that I did not film an intro, which is the most important part of the video. So basically, I'm going to be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. thought it'd be fun since we're all in quarantine, and I'm actually very proud of how it came out. If you guys want to see, just keep on watching. So there's a couple of issues that I'm already having. Number one is that I only bought the primary colors of paint because I figured I can mix them to make the colors I want and then I also bought white and I bought black Zara you need to chill Zara I bought black and white paint so if I want to lighten the color I can use the white if I want to darken I can use the black I have this canvas that I stole from my sister and then paint brushes look at this setup I don't even have his like his like palette that he uses for colors. I just have foil because I'm not like that fancy. And then I have these paint brushes. I'm going to put his video down here somewhere so you guys can reference it. But yeah, let's get started. So I think he usually starts off with his painting already painted white. So that way the colors blend better. I'm just gonna use white. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. This is gonna be really hard. I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna get straight into it because I don't have time to use this tiny little brush to cover that entire thing. So let's start the video. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. I thought today maybe we'd just do a fantastic little painting that I hope you'll enjoy. Let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got done today. I have my standard old pre-stretched double prime canvas and I've covered it with just a very thin coat of liquid white. So it's all wet and slick and it's ready to go so let's just have some fun today. Today let's start with a little tiny brush, the, the two inch brush. <laughs> It'll take a small amount of alizarin crimson. We don't need much. I don't have alizarin crimson so I'm just gonna do red. I've concluded that this video might have been the dumbest idea I've ever came up with because I do not have a paintbrush like he does. We're just gonna make do with what we have and if this comes out like shit, it'll just be funny. So, let's continue. He basically gets that. Bit right up in the sky today. Somewhere about like it. And he does like crisscross motions. Let's see. You know, this might work. Who knows? I can't take myself seriously right now. What is his technique? How does he do that? Just want to warm it up. You guys, I knew I would do bad, but I didn't think I'd do this bad. Give it a little. There we go. Something about, about like so. He puts a little at the bottom too. Maybe a little of that pinkish color will reflect right into the water. You we know what? Water. He makes it more pink. his compared to mine right now. In our world, we can do anything that we want to do. All right. In that case, let's go into a little bit of the... Okay, let me try to fix this. Give me a second. Okay. I think I somewhat fixed it. It looks a little bit better at least. It's still not good, but let's continue. So I think it takes the blue. They little blue. Once again, don't need much and don't even have to clean the brush. The they little blue is so much stronger than the crimson, it'll just eat it up. Okay, let's go back up in here. And now I'm just going to make little X's, little crisscross strokes. Something like that. Go all the way across the top. And bring it down until it almost touches the crimson. Okay. I am going to do that now. How did he do that so quick? Maybe because his brush isn't the size of his eyebrow? Guys, that is honestly so sad. This is doing Bob Ross a disgrace. Once again, the blue is so much stronger. If you're not careful, it'll just eat all the crimson up. There. About like so. While I still have the brush going, 
and we'll take a little Prussian blue, which is much darker, and just add to the corners. We'll eat. You said the corners, right? Right. Something like that. And once again, while I have the blue on the brush, I'm going to go down and put a little bit down here. If we're going to have water, we need a little blue down there. Something about like that. There we go. It really doesn't matter because we'll change it in any direction that we want when we get there. That's going too fast. Okay, he's going to clean the brush. Watch the way he cleans the brush. It's so funny. Our brushes is, as you know, with odorless paint thinner. And I really, really recommend that it's odorless. Or you'll become the most unpopular person in the whole house. <laughs> and if you do that in the living room, you're going to become unpopular too. He's so funny. Okay, my camera's going to die. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. Let's just get this over with, even though we have 20 minutes left of this video. We wash our brushes, as, as you know, with odorless paint thinner. And I really, really recommend that I'm white. Show you a simple, simple little way of making a happy little cloud. And all we're going to do is just take and tap in a very basic little shape. We don't care. Just tap it. Just tap it. There. This is I'm the so easiest way I've this. ever found of making very effective clouds. Just tap. But you do have to put in a basic shape. You can't just tap it random and a cloud appears. There. Think about basic shape. How this old cloud would float around and just have a good time all day. Maybe. Maybe something about like him. Doesn't matter. Wait, hold on. Clean, dry brush and very gently, very, very gently, one hair and some air. We can just blend this rascal until it's as soft as you want it to be. That easy. That easy. All right. And we've got some happy little clouds that just live up here in our sky. Wait, no, okay. this is going south very quickly. Okay, it doesn't look bad there, but in person it looks terrible. Let's see what he does now. What color is that? Russian blue, some black. I'll put a little brown in there too, a little Van Dyke, some crimson. So bluish black. Great. I'm stressing out. Cut off a little roll of paint. Should live right on the- Oh my god, he uses the knife to make the mountains. How did I not remember that? Be a knife. And let's decide in our world, maybe we up in here, there's just, okay, happy little mountain. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. There we are. Something like so. I'm scraping off all the excess paint. All of it. What's left is exactly right. Absolutely perfect. There. I take the two inch brush, grab it, and just pull. It does two things. Most important, it removes. Okay, I need some time to do this. And secondly, it blends the paint down so it looks misty down at the base. And that's exactly what we're looking for today. That's going to have to work. Oh my god, my camera's about to die again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, I'm going to finish doing this mountain off camera because I'm going to actually try. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I did the mountain. Yeah, then. You know me. I'm crazy about trees, so I thought maybe they would do a few trees. Take Prussian blue. Thalo green. I like thalo green in my evergreens. Sometimes a little Van Dyke, some crimson, and we just mix all those together. Dude, it all just looks like one big. Oh my god. Once again, down He's down going down. way too fast for me. Can you guys see what I'm doing? stand up for this.
You guys, I'm not mad about this painting. I honestly might hang it up in my room. I'm not even joking. What's next, Bob? I really don't care because I'm gonna fill this up full of trees. Oh my god, he's adding another tree. Should I add another one? He's using a bigger brush now. This is our world, so we can do anything we want to here. It's our world. We can do anything we want to here. Okay. I feel like I'm doing decent so far, so I can't mess it up right now. Fudge, man. Let's see something here. Let's take. Let's take. Yeah. Let's just bring this together down here on the bottom. Okay, so he adds yellow to the tree brush. And with that color now, we can come back. Oh, I think he adds detail to the trees. Okay, it gets better. And begin picking out the highlights. Yeah. Now, once again, if it doesn't stick too well, and mine's not, add a little paint. I'm adding too much. The only rule here is that you enjoy it. And it makes you happy. It does that. See, the only rule is that I enjoy and then it makes me happy. I love this man. You guys, I don't want to jinx myself, but I came into this as a joke and I might leave with this experience as Bob Ross's daughter. Not even gonna lie right now. There's a beautiful little grassy area back here. Okay, so he adds grass. One of them places like to take your shoes off and let your feet run naked through there. Nice. Nice. I like little meadows. There. We need some dirt down here. Go take a little brown. Okay. Dark seat. Not done, Bob. Okay. He takes what? Brown? What colors make brown? Red, black, and yellow? Red, black, and yellow, I think. I really have no idea. Let's see. I am literally a genius. I need to work at Home Depot or something. I know colors. Wow. Okay. To make brown is red, yellow, and black. So what do we do with the black, Bob? I mean brown. And we'll put the indication. He uses the spatula again. Oh my god, he's too fast. Where'd he add the highlights? Just on top? Okay. That's good enough. I don't even know what he did. Some sap green, some yellow. Where the sap green there? Whew, ooh, nice color. Pull that brush in one direction to load it and turn it over. So the round corner is at the top. Let's go up here. With that round corner up, now we can touch, push, bend very gently. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Um. And create the illusion of all kind of little bushes and trees and happy little things. They live here. They live here in our world. A little yellow ochre. Maybe a little touch of the bright red. Right on the end, make a little flower that lives out there. Oh, <laughs> flower. Another little bush. He lives there. I don't know him. No, he needs my friend. He's he friends with friend. a bush? He's my friend. He needs to slow down. I'm not done with my bushes. Do those even look like flowers? I don't know. Can you guys even see? Almost done, guys. And if you can do this one, you can do anything. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. And God bless my friend. Yeah. What do you think? <gasps> what do you think of my painting? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Very beautiful and creative. 
Tell me that it's the best painting you've ever seen. Nikki, that painting is the best painting I've ever seen. Thank you. In my entire life. Thank you. That's on God. And that's on what? That's on God. <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun actually doing it. I honestly recommend it because I'm not good at painting, but it doesn't look bad. This is like the first time in years, so if you guys are bored and want to do something, I definitely recommend Bob Ross painting tutorials because he has this like energy that just puts you in a good mood and I feel like we need that right now, so if you want to be inspired and if you want to paint something, I definitely recommend copying one of his tutorials because he actually is a very good teacher. I'll just show you guys a painting. I'm actually surprised at how good it came out. It's whatever, but what I'm really proud of is like the mountains. I did not think I'd be able to do the mountains that well. <sighs> but yeah, I am not mad at this. And when you get up close, it's like obviously it looks ugly, but like from far away, it looks like something. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like this video, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> comment, what, uh, do whatever you want, and bye Zara! Say bye! Say bye! Okay, I have to get the painting out of here before she attacks it, so see you guys later, hope you guys enjoy!